Welcome back to Rabat, where the third round of the Blitz Marathon uh, has just started. Uh, my name is Dirk Janta Kösnam. With me is Nigel Short. Nigel, uh, I think we are um, getting a grip on the, uh, the, problem, the technical problems we have had so far. Uh, we hope. We hope. <laughs> the moves are there. You wanted yeah. to have a look at uh, Sergei Fedorchuk, yeah. uh, one of the um, yeah. strong grandmasters playing here. Yeah. And he is playing Mark Luhak. So it was a um, bishop b5 Sicilian. Yes. And okay, there we go. It's a, it was some sort of uh, anti anti Sicilian, a, um, a, a, a mainliner, and, and basically Fedorchuk has um, gained the advantage of the bishop pair, but lost a little bit of uh, time. So uh, actually, Mark uh, Le Wick, is that how I pronounce yep. it? Uh, seems to have, a, for the moment, a um, very satisfactory uh, position. Yeah. Mark uh, is here with a group of players from, from Paris. There's, yeah, a, yeah. There's, a, there's a big bunch of players from Paris who yeah. came here. Um, I wouldn't have done that. He's just uh, advanced in the, the centre now with mm -hmm. d5. I would have been pushing my... Uh, uh, Oh, okay, finally yeah. we've got this updating. Oh, oh well, so uh, triumph. Okay. Triumph for, for the, uh, at Thanks, least... Uh, to the technicians. Yeah. Um, so now we, are, we have updates with the moves. Oh, great. Which I, I, And I'm expecting, yeah, he's got knight g4 now, which uh, it looks like a fairly normal move, and he's, those knights have been exchanged. Uh, still looks uh, very okay for uh, for black, and I, I suppose he's going to push on the queen side. That's that would be a very typical thing to to do. Yeah. Okay. Watch your clock, Mark. <laughs> Watch your clock. I mean, he's. Um, it's ticking down slowly. I mean, sometimes people just forget about this. They, yeah. get, they get very interested there. He's playing a very fine play. He's played B5. Mm. Positionally, this is a very desirable move because he wants to um, uh, play B4 and opening up the line for the, uh, for the bishop on, mm. on G7. Yeah. So... Um, but this is tricky, of course. You... you you equalize, or you have a good position with yeah, black. And, yeah, yeah, but, 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 but then you have to make a plan. And yeah, but that, this is a fairly straightforward yeah. uh, plan. No, I, I mean the, the wasting time suddenly. Uh, yeah, because you should keep some. Yeah, movement. that's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Up to bishop g5, queen c8. This is excellent. This is quite correct. Queen f3, and now he should put his queen on d7. Um, He's thinking a little bit too long, too long. Yeah, he's yeah. played queen d7. Yeah. He's playing well. Uh, do we know what Mark's uh, rating is? Uh, do we have um, any yeah, idea at all? I was checking it on this list, but I couldn't find it immediately. Yep, yeah. yeah. So, Yeah, it looks looks very very reasonable for for playing B4. He's playing some very and actually Fedorchuk is playing in a very modest um, way, uh, yeah. let's say unambitious uh, mm. way. Hoping that at some point experience will prevail. Yeah. Or well, actually, he's he's just uh, B4 was a threat. Now mm. he's eliminated yeah. those difficulties. Um, and in case you're wondering, the uh, time control is they get three minutes for the game and with every move they get two seconds. Two seconds, added. yeah. So you don't run out of time as long as you keep moving. Yeah. Um, but still the difference begins to tell now. It's Mark should... Um, there's more pressure on Mark uh, work now. Yeah. He's doing absolutely fine. I mean, he's got no problems at all. In fact, I'd say he's slightly, slightly better. Yeah. But uh, it's the the clock he's got to watch. Yeah. 
Uh, some tricky little moves now. Attacking the H pawn. King H7, H5. Oh, he could even have taken that. But uh, yeah, it's just typical blitz, blitz stuff. Ah, oh, he's cursing. Uh -huh. Cursing. He's missed a, 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 a an elementary yeah. tactic, uh, uh, actually. Tactic. And this is how games are decided at this level. Um, played uh, in a. It was perfectly okay. Yeah, uh, playing well. Yeah, and at this moment, he after rook e4, he missed the simple threat, and king g7, and now suddenly rook takes d4, and if this is recaptured, rook takes c8 yeah. happens, and winning a piece. So, yeah. um, I mean, you saw a sort of shake of the head there, and that uh, it's, it's of course a, a tactic that he wouldn't miss in any normal game. Yeah, and, but okay, here it happens under time pressure and. For the simple fact that you're playing a strong yeah, game. let's go to let's go and see yeah. Luke Van Welly. Uh, what's going on there? Oh my goodness! <laughs> um, very interesting things. Oh, what the heck is going on? I, um, Van Welly's looking happy for some reason. Mm -hmm. Did he win on time? Yeah. At least he's smiling. And he's smiling. Finished, so, well, was that a draw? Who knows? Uh, maybe, Did he win he, on time? I think he, uh, he ran out of time. So, how do you assess this? Does White have enough counterplay on on the queen side? Or oh, it's a, it's a C. Si oh, th this is complicated. Yeah. It's just a race here. Yeah, you have to. Well, look, he's, um, well, we, we briefly mentioned uh, Shakhriyar's, uh, Mamajarov's losing a game which he won uh, last year. That was actually uh, yeah. two years ago, because yeah. last year Luke van Veli was the winner of the, the tournament here, uh, with um, a score of 17 and a half from 21, no, which, is, jolly good. which is pretty good. And last year, uh, the time control was 5-0, so... Ah, um, right, okay. And Luke said that, uh, okay, it, it was a nice victory, but he, he was pretty lucky that he won several games just with seconds. Flagging, second. flagging is... No, no, with, with seconds on the clock. Right. He, uh, so, uh, yeah, which, is, which is something that uh, doesn't yeah. apply this year, because there's the, the increment. Yeah. So, as far as we can see, Nigel, I think all the favourites, they um, did what they were supposed to do. Yeah, and they stuck the, stuck the boot in. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not, not Let's, at all. No, no, no. no. Well, we, we spoke too soon. There is Alexei Shirov, who drops half a point to against Adel Chukri. Who is, uh, I, I guess, a local player. Is uh, he? Yeah. Can we just check that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's just have a, a brief look at this game. So um, it was a uh, Reti opening, and um, Shirov plays himself sometimes. And some fairly standard m moves for um, Chukri. Shirov castle queenside, which is probably a poor move. But that's the sort of thing you do at, at Blitz. You play mm. aggressive moves. He's already castled on the opposite side in the, the first round. And here, and here he's just walking into an attack mm. with A4. And very simple stuff. D1. And now... Aha! A very important move. And... We have a chase, a little dance of the... And Shirov doesn't want to exchange rooks because that's more or less his only active piece. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, white has an advantage in the, in the end game. So um, uh, the first upset on the, um, on the displayed boards anyway. Well, it's, it's also typical that he doesn't want to take any crazy risks. I mean, he apparently understands that his, he's got, uh, his is opponent he, isn't that weak. No, but he's he, not, he, not that weak at, at all. And also, uh, it's a very, very long tournament. So uh, there is no point in um, 
yeah, dropping half half uh, unnecessarily. I mean, mm. a half, he could easily have lost this game had he continued. Yeah. You know, taking a risk, trying to to push. And so he's, he's played uh, sensibly, mm. un- recognizing that his position um, is. Uh, uh, not the best. Yeah, you mean a, a draw yeah. is a draw is okay. Is slight damage. Uh, yeah. a loss is real damage. Correct. Yeah, correct. So, uh, so that's um, the surprise of this this round. Uh, Alexei Shirov, one of the uh, top favourites, he uh, had to uh, resign himself to a draw. Uh, Luke won. All the others. Uh, all the others won on the top boards. So. Um, we uh, still have uh, several players with a uh, clean slate. Yeah. Or a perfect score out. Yeah. Rather say. Um, maybe we'll um, briefly go down there and uh, talk to the players, get their first impressions, and then uh, then we'll be back for round four, which uh, probably will uh, yeah. will st- start quite quite soon. So um, stay with us. We'll we'll be we'll back be in uh, five or ten minutes. And, yeah. Uh, there's many, probably many, five. <laughs> there's many rounds to go because it, only three have been played of 21. 21. Yeah.